yeah, I'm excited for it. So I just want to bring to the attention of, of everybody that yeah. soup is a spectrum. I think that you've got stew on one side of the spectrum and then you've got soup on the other side of the mm-hmm. spectrum. Nothing has to be, it's like sexuality. Soup is like sexuality. Yeah. It's on a spectrum. You've got stew Ew. and you've got soup in the middle. And then you have outliers as well. Yeah, sure. Like chili. Chili? Does not fall on that spectrum. It's outside of the spectrum. No, it's outside of the spectrum. I think that there is a world where chili would fall inside closer to the closer, stew. Of, of course it would be closer to the stew, but it's almost like, to me, I'm seeing the spectrum and then I'm seeing chili go so far to the stew side of the spectrum, it passes. And Matt said that this was stew okay, and I, it's I not. Don't, I don't want to piss you off. There are chunks in, in this yeah. soup, like this potato chunk. Don't, be careful of the that, couch. This is where I would say it's it's not the farthest end of the soup spectrum, I would say that it, it does fall closer to the stew. It doesn't fall closer, closer to the stew. But it's, it's, closer, it's closer to the median. Yeah, it's for sure closer to the median on the soup side. Yeah. I, yeah, okay, perfect. So I just am going to move, move okay. my mic away. I hope you like it. Me too. <laughs> Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Thanks, Con. That's the only thing I can make. It's actually See, so easy. This feels like it should be smaller. Sorry, it falls apart. Move it, move around, move things around with your spoon. I like big chunks, and I cannot lie. <laughs> I like having that huge hunk of celery. That's a huge, like that's a full branch. Yeah, but like the thing is, it's so soft and mushy that it like I could not. Make, I could. It I doesn't could, feel like a big bite. I could spread some peanut butter on this and make some ants. On I wish walk. you wouldn't. I'm just saying it's in the realm of bite. possibilities. Take a bite. How do I get it in my mouth? Go ahead. Yummy soup. Good, huh? It is really good. Do you know how to make chicken soup? No. It's the easiest thing in the world. You literally put a whole chicken, like, you know, those like dead chickens from the grocery store? Yeah. You put one of those in a pot of water, boil it for an hour, and that's what makes the broth. That's chicken broth. It's just boiling a chicken. Then that also, at the same time, cooks the chicken you take the chicken out put all of your veggies Is, in isn't a chicken already cooked are you talking about a raw no, chicken I'm talking about a raw whole chicken not a rotisserie you are yanking my raw, you put the raw chicken in it boils the chicken at the same time as making the broth that's what makes the broth is boiling the chicken what then is you it? take the a parsnip you'll like it it tastes like a carrot i don't think i want to enter parsnip try it it's not Try it. I, I wasn't really like, it's 10 a.m., so the parsnip territory seems like something I should avoid. Try it, because you should try new things. We always try new things. You better take a fat-ass bite of that stuffing when I eat this parsnip. Okay. It ta- it's a, ca- a white carrot. Ooh. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, it's a white carrot. Um, you boil a chicken. Take the chicken out. Put all your veggies in for an hour. That's what gets them soft and adds to the broth. And then you shred the chicken and put the chicken back in. And like, that's it. You gotta get a recipe up for this shit. That's it. Are you loving really it? Good. Yeah, I'm loving it. That's so nice. I kind of want some. Yeah, dig in. Yeah. I'll talk for a second. Okay. Um, I'm a big soup guy. I pride myself on soup. I also yeah. pride myself on my chili. I make a mad chili. And I can't wait for when the weather gets when the weather gets nice because I'll go I'll go buy some chili and I'll eat it in my car. I'm so excited to I can't even get home before I dig into my chili. So it starts to get cold like this. I like to bundle up put on my own podcast and eat some chili in my car. It's like my happy my happy zone. But chili I make at home. Mm-hmm. Now here's a question and now we're stepping into really dangerous territory again uh controversy wise cuz I was raised in a home. Yeah. Oh, this is tough. Yeah. I was raised in a home that does include noodles and chili. And well I understand that it could be jarring for a lot of people and a hard pill to swallow. I know that I just want to get ahead of it before it starts to come out that I do acknowledge that that might not be everybody's cup of chili. I think that speaks to how you view chili on the soup to stew spectrum. Spectrum. It seems like you're viewing it as a soup if you're willing to put noodles in it because you wouldn't. But I'm I'm able to keep my mind open enough to where like I don't want to throw a label on this chili, you know, like. That's the whole point of why, the spectrum is that we're not labeling. So why, why are we? Why do I need to put my chili in a box? Right. Because as humans, we're, cat- we're natural categorists. And it's sad. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad that we're moving into a place where we're more comfortable saying, I don't really know what this is. Right. You know? <coughs> there's totally. N- sure, there's noodles in it. Totally. Sure. But you know what? It's still a chili. 
Yeah. At the end of because the day. Because guess what? What else would it be? Chili is chili. A pasta? Yeah. No. Because no. I could drink it. No, it's so. not a pasta. If anything, it's a stew. Can I say something that is crazy? Really quick, I want to clarify yeah. that the noodles that we're putting in are Angela Air Pasta broken up into small bits. So it's not like you're slurping up a like a Lady in the Tramp style right. noodle. So like, basically like rice. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm not, I don't want to enter rest oh, territory. Okay. I'm talking about like noodles about an inch, an inch and a half. Okay. That's, but that to me is like giving more of a rice effect than. Brooke, if okay. you ordered fried rice and they were an inch and a half long, <laughs> I encourage you to leave the restaurant and call 911. <laughs> I'm just saying it has the effect of rice. I'm not saying it is rice. We have to. Okay. Go ahead and move on. I, I don't want to get into this with you in front I of everybody. I also don't like chili. I don't like beans. Texture thing. Or and the taste. You don't like chili. I don't like chili. <laughs> I don't like chili. Or beans. What else is in chili besides beans? Tomatoes. Yeah. I don't like chili. Wow. Yeah, like I, on my Chipotle bowl, I'll say no beans, please. Wow, I, I just like, I could t- I could actually cry. It, That's is, really. I wonder if this is the closest you'll get to understanding how I feel when you say you don't like Harry Styles. No, I'm I'm able to understand that you don't like chili. I just did. I had no idea. Oh, so I didn't want to. There's never been a right time to tell you. <sighs> but well, I appreciate yeah. you trusting me enough to tell me that. I, but I'd love I am, to, I'm open like a, to trying it again. Yeah, well, I, and I appreciate that. I, I obviously like love and respect you uh-huh. still, but it is going to take like a second to digest. And, yeah. Should I try the stuffing? Yeah, let's just go. Yeah, let's okay. do that. Hang on, hang on. Oh, sorry. I just slurped it. I just slurped into the mic. Oh, I just lost my audio for a second. Okay. okay. All right. So walk us through like the yeah. ingredients of stuffing. So it is kind of just bread. Right. With some seasoning. And water. Oh, that looks delicious. Yeah. So I'm going to get you a really good okay. bite here. Oh, my God. It smells so good. I fucking love stuffing. Okay. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Okay. So just kind of uh-huh. open your mouth and then what do you think? What do you think about that? Do you love that? Okay, move the mic. <laughs> What are you thinking about that? Are you loving it? You're loving it. You've loved every second of that. Did you swallow it? Trying. It is a bit dry. It's been <laughs> sitting out for about an hour. Mm. If that was on my plate with turkey gravy all the accoutrements could i see it getting onto my fork and being a pleasant experience yeah what was that thought what did you just say turkey <laughs> gravy other accoutrements yeah that one accoutrements yeah what the fuck are you talking about uh, like i don't like accoutrements i know like other things accoutrement i need to add that to my list of words i like i don't know if i used it correctly Additional items of dress or equipment or other items carried or worn by a person or used for a particular activity. I think I'm using it a little bit out of context, but it gets the... Hey, man. Lucas saying I'm using it perfectly. Yeah, I mean, that was awesome. Good for you. Thanks. Um, I I could... And if it was with mashed potatoes as well. It needs to be wetter, maybe, but it's not, yeah. gro- it's not disgusting. Like chili, I would I yeah, really have a gag. hard time. But that's not disgusting. It's just like I don't really get the point. Yeah. Um, okay, time for mashies. I love a mash. Mm-hmm. These could be wetter. <laughs> if I had my way with Dip them. Dip them in your soup. Oh, I don't hate that. Dipping? Mm. Thank you. I love mashed potato. I love mashed potatoes. Sorry, I keep getting confused when to put the mic near my mouth. Sorry, audio only people. Hopefully we don't have anybody like me listening to the podcast or else I think we may get a death threat. Honestly, it happens. 